boys and girls, I believe you are excited again today to hear our Bible story and to learn from it. Before we proceed, boys and girls, I have a question for you. Have you ever thought who can help you in times like this? Where does your help come from? We can answer this after our Bible story. Thank you for listening carefully. Hallelujah. One day, Jesus went to Jerusalem and visited the pool of Bethesda. In there lay a multitude of sick people, the blind, lame, and the paralyzed, waiting for the stirring of the water, for they believed that after the string of the water, when they will get in there, they will be healed. One who was there had an infirmity for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that situation for a long, long time, he said to him, Do you want to get to be made well? The sick man replied, Sir, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I'm trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Get up, pick up your mat and walk. At once, the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. Hallelujah! Amen! The man was healed, had no idea who he is. For Jesus slipped away into the crowd that was there. Later, boys and girls, Jesus found the healed man in the crowd. Said to him, See, you have been healed, you have been made well. Stop singing or something worse will happen to you. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who made me well. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Glory to Him. Now, where does your help come from? Boys and girls. Yes, it comes from the Lord Jesus alone. Does he know your situation today, boys and girls? Yes, yeah, because he is an all-knowing God. You might think that uh, in times like this, I don't have anyone to help me. But what happened with the sick man for 38 years when he met Jesus? Jesus had only spoken the word. He said, get up, take up your mat, and walk. And immediately, the sick man was healed. The same with you, boys and girls. Get up instead. Read your Bible, pray, and Jesus will help you. If you are not feeling well, the Bible says, by his stripes we have been healed. We will claim His promise that we are healed by His stripes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Number two, Jesus is not only willing to heal our body, but He is willing to heal our heart. Have we done wrong for the past days? Jesus forgives. If we will talk to Him, involve Him in our lives, we will humble ourselves to Him. He will forgive us. And if we say that He alone is our Lord and Savior, He will save us. Amen, boys and girls. 
So, we have learned in this passage two things. Number one, Jesus heals us. Heals us from every sickness and disease. He said in his word that he took away, he carried away every sickness, every disease upon our body. And number two, he forgives us. He wants to give us a new heart. How could we do this? We will humble ourselves. We will just say, Jesus, I'm sorry for the things that I have done. Help me to do what is pleasing, what is right before your eyes, to read my Bible and pray every day. And we will say with our mouth, Jesus, you alone is my Lord and Savior. Shall we do that, boys and girls? And thank Him for His great love for us. Lord Jesus, thank you for you are my healer. Thank you for forgiving me from any wrong I have done. Thank you for helping me not to do it again. Thank you for helping me to read my Bible every day and pray, call upon your name. And I believe you will answer me. Jesus, right now, I open my heart into me. Be my Lord and Savior forever. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Amen and amen. Hallelujah! Thank you, boys and girls, for listening. Glory to His name alone. Amen. See you again next Bible school. Hallelujah. Amen. Open, Lord.